Okay, and here we have the top ten most pirated movies of the week for uh, the week ending August 9th, which is today. <laughs> uh, every week, take a close look at blah, 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 blah. The Suicide Squad tops charts, followed by Jungle Cruise, uh, F9 The Fast Saga, completes the top three. Uh, educational reference only, uh, public resources... Uh, three new entries, Suicide Squad is most downloaded title. Alright, so let's get into the list. Go. We'll start at the bottom, I think. <clears throat> a Quiet Place Part 2 was at number 9, has dropped to number 10, 7.7. 7. Haven't watched that yet. At some point, I will, uh, I'll try to watch that, but I have no idea. It, mi it might be a, a long time. Um, uh, the Tomorrow War is back on the list at number 9. It, uh, it's 6.6 .6 at IMDb, 7.7 .7 for Quiet Place. Um, I haven't watched that either. I don't know if I will or not. I've, I, I've heard mixed things about it. It's like, on the one hand, it's supposedly, like, good. Um, but on the other hand, it's... You know, <laughs> it's also kind of one of those, you know, like, kind of done a little bit on the cheap or whatever it doesn't seem like it's a you know i don't know i don't know uh new list number eight is vip vivo 6.9 at imdb ah send picture animations first ever musical adventure featuring all new original songs from lynn manuel miranda will take audiences an epic adventure to gorgeous and vibrant locations never before seen in animation. Uh, okay. Hmm. No idea. No idea. All right. Uh, at no holding at number seven is Space Jam, a new legacy 4.3. Yeah, it deserves probably even lower than that. Garbage, I wouldn't recommend seeing that. Uh, that one, you know, like I said, I've never heard of it before. That one, heard mixed things about it. That one, supposedly good. I'm sure I'll watch it eventually, one of these years after I've, you know, seen the first one. Uh, the Forever Purge, I have no fucking clue what that is. It was at number 5, it's dropped to number 6. It's at 5.4. All the rules are broken. A sect of lawless marauders decides the annual purge does not stop at daybreak and instead should never end. Are they still doing... These fucking Purge movies. It's ridiculous. Um, the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. I've mentioned before. That's an overly complicated title, in my opinion. Dropped from 4 to 5. Black Widow was at 2. Dropped to 4. 7.0 rating. Uh, it doesn't deserve a 7.0. It doesn't deserve something that good. It's not that great. I mean, it, it's plenty... It's entertaining enough if you just kind of turn your brain off and are like, yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to enjoy it. You just decide, I'm going to enjoy it as best I can. And not really think critically about it. But if you think critically about it, it's like there's plot holes you could, you know, <laughs> you fly the giant helicopter there through. Um, uh, F9, The Fast Saga. I was going to go watch that with a friend, but, you know, he basically blew me off. As one of those, he's one of those guys that, you know, he says, okay, I'll, you know, I'll, you know, I'll meet you at your place and you know, in, you know, in like 20 minutes or something, and then we'll go, and it's like, well, you know, be sure and hurry up, because it's like, you know, we gotta, we gotta leave within, you know, within the hour, you know, with or within an hour, in order to, to make it there, by the, by the time the showing starts, um, or in time, you know, to get seated, whatever, anyway, and so he says, yeah, 20 minutes or whatever, and so you go, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and finally, it's too late you know, for you to be able to go and get to the theater in time to, you know, to buy tickets and get seated before it starts. And he never showed up. And then later he complains that you didn't come back to his place to pick him up. And it's like, you didn't tell me to come pick you up. You said you'd meet me at my place. What the fuck? <laughs> like, don't pull that shit with me, motherfucker. Uh, anyway, drop from 1 to 3. 5.3, that's not very good. Dom the crew must take an international uh, take out on an international terrorist who turns out to be Dom Mia's estranged brother. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Not not getting good ratings. I I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, Jungle Cruise dropped from three to, or no, rose from three to two, uh, six point eight. Now, I did watch this one. Based on Disneyland's theme park, I've never been to Disneyland, but I've been to Disney World. Went there a lot of times as a kid, uh, but pretty much, well, no, never. Never as an adult. Last time we went there, I was 16. Uh, based on Disneyland's theme park ride, where a small riverboat takes a group of travelers through a jungle filled with dangerous animals and reptiles, but with a supernatural element. Anyway, I did watch that. Uh, it's good. I liked it. Um, I think uh, somebody, was it Az? I think it was Az who maybe said that he doesn't give a shit about this movie or something, you know, and it's like, okay, well, I can understand, you know, not caring about it from the standpoint of it's not part of an established franchise that you fucking care about or whatever. It's like, okay, because it, it's not, an, you know, it's like there's, there was no franchise. It's just a fucking ride that they turned into a movie, but it's a, it's a fun adventure movie. I liked it, you know. The Rock, you know, Dwayne Johnson is in it. He's, you know, eh, you know, like I said, I thought it was, I thought it was fun. You know, it's a fun adventure movie. It was not. Uh, it it seemed like it was gonna be woke at first. It was like, oh god, are they gonna make this female explorer like, you know, the bestest ever and all this shit? And it's like, nah, she kind of turns out to be a little bit incompetent. <laughs> so it's like, it's you know, so it's like, oh, you know, I like it. I like it. They didn't make her like, you know, the you know the, you know, the glorious empowered whammon that can do no wrong or whatever. It's like they made her a real person who fucks up. So, that's good. Uh, new to list, number one is The Suicide Squad. It's got a 7.6 rating. How is it managing to be that good on IMDb? Super villains Harley Quinn, Bloodsport. Peacemaker and a collection of nutty cons at Belle Reve Prison join the Super Secret Super Shady Task Force X as they are dropped off at the remote enemy-infused island of Corto Maltese. Um, like I said, it was fun enough, although I absolutely cannot recommend that you pay money for it. But like I said, if, you've got, if you know somebody who's already paying for a subscription or whatever, and you can go to their place and watch it, you know, then, you know, it, it's, it's not bad, you know. But I maintain that it's one of those movies where... You know, might be fun to see it once, but once you've seen it, you've seen it, and there's no need to watch it again. It's just, yeah, you know, to me at least, it's just absolutely not. Um, <laughs> you know, just the, the rewatchability is just extremely low for me on something like that. Um, eh, I like, and and there's a couple of characters. Can't remember which ones. King Shark is one, but there's another character, I can't remember which one it was, and it's like, both of them, you know, seem to be handled better and were more impressive on the Flash CW show. And it's like, if if, if the CW, if, if, if an episode of a CW show is better than your major motion picture in, some, in, in any respect, <laughs> quite frankly, um, then that's not a good sign. Uh, anyway, so, I don't know. But, yeah, you know, it's just a you know, a kind of a, f you know, it's kind of funny, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of fun, you know, plenty of action, and, you know, so, eh, it's not bad, but it ain't nothing great. Anyway, so, those are the movies, so, uh, until the next one. <laughs>